welcome to The Beauty Shaman. So one of the most iconic beauties of the 60s, 70s, I would even say today, is Sophia Loren. Uh, I'm a huge fan of Sophia Loren. I love how she has just always been herself. She's always, um, when she was in her youth, she was obviously, a, you know, taken as a famous actress, a great beauty. And now she is actually film. she's made a movie with her son directing her and she's in her 80s. And I love that she's continued on with her career and unapologetically herself. And this is, of course, so much what I believe in as women is own it, live it, don't apologize for yourself, um, love aging, embrace all of that. So she really epitomizes for me that incredible beauty. And I just want to show you a couple pictures of her in case you have been living under a rock and don't know who she is. <laughs> but there's her in her youth. Whoops, I just, of course, had to touch the page wrong. Okay, this is her in her youth. Oh my God, look at that. So beautiful with her short hair there, the beautiful red dress. And that's her now. And I just think, oh my God, she's, to me, she's stunning. She's just stunning. I, I absolutely adore her. And I'm so excited today to do her makeup from the 60s and 70s. Now, I say that with a laugh because, um, you know, I'm in my 50s. Many of you are, you know, 60s, 70s, 80s. I love all of you, by the way. I totally give you love. I just love... A lot of you write to me and comment, and I just so appreciate all of you. Um, having said that, I realized that doing a 1960s really dramatic heavy lid with the wing liner, the Sophia Loren look, is not applicable to older women. It really looks garish, can look very garish and outdated and like we're trying too hard. And so in my um, determination to stay current, but at the same time have a lot of skills in my toolbox, um, I, I've modified her look to make it applicable so that many of us can do it. Now, not everyone. Um, her look really does demand um, that you have very big lids because she does a lot of black and gray and very dramatic over her lids. Um, now, that's very hard if you're like me and you have smaller lids or no lids or a double lid. So we are going to just modify this according to you, according to what looks good for you, and I'm going to modify it for me. I am not going to do the big old heavy-duty wing liner. I actually already made a video trying to do it, and I thought, this just looks terrible. So I'm redoing it because I feel like I want to do things that look beautiful. Part of my belief system is I want to look beautiful. I want you to look beautiful. I want us to be current but snazzy and savvy and fabulous. So with that in mind, we're going to make the liner less dramatic, but we're still going to do that, that lovely, very smoky, sexy Sophia Loren eye. All right. So before we get started, visit my website at thebeautyshaman.com. Use the code SB10 for 10% off everything in my store. And then also please hit the subscribe button um, and the bell in order to be alerted every time I upload a video. Okay, let's get going. Okay, as with every video, I've got my cup of tea. So I'm just wondering what kind of tea you're drinking. If you're a tea drinker, I'm a huge tea drinker. Today, ooh, it's very dirty, my cup. But anyway, this is actually some um, black tea from a place in Denver called Babes, B-A-B-E-S. And it's actually a tea house and they do high tea um, and uh, just regular tea if you just want to have tea. Um, they have all kinds of tea against their far wall. It's absolutely amazing. So this is their house blend. Um, if you're in Denver, please check them out. I think they're great. And this, you know, I'm such a fan of like sitting and having tea with my friend. Tiffany is who I met. But anyway, you can have tea with your friends and just it's such a good feeling. So take a sip of tea and we'll get going. Okay, so to start off with, I'm going to do a little bit of lip balm because my lips are sort of dry um, because I'm in Colorado and it's dry. So this is my favorite lip balm. It's Bobbi Brown lip balm. So it's a really nice amount, nice quantity, and it gives it a little bit of a shine. So I really love this. And the lipstick I'm going to use is actually a, um, a matte that doesn't move, right? It's it's called Lip Fixation by Jane Iredell. So it ends up being drying on your lips. So um, that's one of the reasons I'm like hydrating, hydrating before I put that on. Okay, so first of all, to do this look, you can't have, um, I taught a class last night about this, but you can't have crepey eyes or dry skin around your eyes because it really, this is a lot of dark. It's a lot of black and dark gray. So it's important to hydrate your lids. I've done videos on crepey lids um, what to do. So I'll put that in the upper corner there. But in any case, I'm going to put a little bit of Transdermal C Serum here from Truth Treatments, my favorite serum, loaded with vitamin C. It's excellent. And we're just going to do a drop because it's so concentrated. Rub my fingers together. And I'm just going to put this around my eyes. I've already hydrated the rest of my face. 
but I'm going to really focus on my eyes because of what we, the look we're going to do. Good. Okay. <clears throat> and see, my skin gets so happy when I do this. My skin's like, thank you, mom. It's amazing. All right. So now let's do a little bit of primer. So we're going to do Jane Iredell Smooth Affair Primer. Really love this. It kind of just blurs, softly blurs everything, which I love. And if you have oily skin, I believe you can use this. Someone just wrote to me about that. But yeah, I do believe that this is good. The ones that are, um, if you have very oily skin, I do believe there's one specifically for that. But if it's just only slightly oily, I think this one's fine. My skin is very oily up here and every place else it's kind of normal. So this one works great for me. And I like older women to have a little bit of dewiness to their skin. Um, I don't like that really matte look that so many of our younger counterparts do. I feel like it really, it can be very aging on us. So I always like that really healthy dewy skin. Okay, so this is some MAC. Um, this is C3 Face and Body. Because uh, it's got, we have some sunshine now, which is really amazing. So I'm actually out in the sun a bit. My skin's getting a little color. I mean, I use sunblock, but, um, you know, a little bit of color doesn't hurt you. In fact, it's really good. The vitamin D is great, especially since we've all been locked inside for a year. Okay, so I'm going to do concealer last um, after I've completed everything because some of this is going to fall underneath my eyes, and I'm going to need to clean it off. Um, so I'm going to leave concealer for last. I'm going to take another sip of tea. So Sophia Loren really loved that bronzed, beautiful look to her skin. So we're going to do contour and bronzer in order to get her chiseled look. Um, and the truth is, if you're older, probably over the age of 60, 65, and, and unless you have a really round face, you really don't need contour. Um, I'm going to use a tiny bit. Um, so I'm just going to use this color right here. So it's just a color, a couple shades darker than my skin. And I'm just going to put it here right over my age spot. It's a handy place for it just to add a little bit more dimension. I have a fairly thin face, so I actually don't use a lot of contour in normal everyday life. I don't feel like I need it. I do feel like in front of the camera, it does help. To, so my face isn't quite so flat. I'm gonna put a little on my forehead, just to give me I have a good sized forehead. Lots of brains is what I say, instead of that I'm stubborn or something. I'm going to put a little bit of powder on just because I want to put um, bronzer and I don't want it to um, smear. So I'm going to use my Cogendo powder here, which I love. I'm totally enamored with this. So isn't this pretty? And it's slightly lighter than my skin. This is like velvety soft and smooth. It's wonderful. And then there's white one over here on the side that you can use for highlight. So um, I'm digging this and I'm going to put it on with just a very light brush. I used to use a big heavy brush to do powder on my videos, but I'm more and more, I'm just going for something really light like this. And the truth is because my skin is so um, healthy, it's gonna break through. I'm gonna have some breakthrough glow as I go along, which is totally fine. Okay, that's all I'm gonna do. Okay, a little bit of bronzer. So this is Bobbi Brown in medium. Uh, and I'm just going to put, you know, again, she loves that very healthy bronzed I'm out in the sun. So many of you love this, right? So this is a really nice bronzer color that Bobbi Brown makes. I'm also going to put it a little under my chin because we all get a little droopy right here, right? So if you just take your contour or bronzer and just put it under your chin, a little bit over just to, you know, kind of take that out a little bit. Isn't that cool? All right, so for eyebrows, Sophia loved those really sort of filled in eyebrows with individual hairs really brought out. Um, that can be a little too much as you get older. And if, if you've noticed her in later pictures, she doesn't do that as much. She has also referred back to her makeup back in the 60s as being too heavy uh, in retrospect, which I think we all could do that looking back at our makeup in the 60s and 70s, right? So, um, so I appreciate that. I appreciate her honesty. So, you know, go with what works for you. I do think a more filled in brow look goes better with the amount of um, makeup we're going to have on our eyes. So if you can make your eyes a little bit thicker for this, I think it would definitely fly. So I'm just going to fill it in on the outer edge. And I'm just using, this is called concrete, just a shadow, an eyeshadow. I really like using eyeshadow as eyebrow fill-in just because I'm, it's just so soft, right? And I think pencils can sometimes look too drawn. And if you have unruly eyebrows, you know, put a little brow gel. This is the brow gal. Um, brow gel, this works great just to 
fill in your brows, not fill them in. Well, you can, you can get this in different colors and comb it in and it's going to automatically add a little bit of color. And that's really fun if you do that. It's great. Okay, so now we're going to start with um, an eye base because you can't have any oil in your lids when you're dealing with these black, really dark colors because they'll just streak. So I'm going to use Painterly by MAC and this is both an eye base and a cream eyeshadow. Works very well. I'm going to use my finger and just put it all over my lid. By the way, what do you think of Sophia Loren? What do you love about her? What is your, are you a fan? You know, what did you admire about her when you were younger? All right, now I'm gonna cover my lid in black. And so this is a MAC, um, same as the my, my product I just used. It's actually a paint pot um, by MAC. And this comes in black, so this is very dark. Um, I'm gonna really blend it out though, and I'm gonna use this brush. And I'm gonna, this is a goat hair brush, which is very easy to clean. If you use a brush that has a less stiff hair, um, like a softer hair like this one, I'm not sure what hair this is, but it's a lot softer than goat hair. Um, it's gonna just, you won't be able to blend it. So it's really important to use a brush with a stiffer hair if you're gonna use these creams, okay? So now I'm gonna take this, dab it quite a bit because this is very dense black. And I'm gonna just kind of lightly, see how dense that is? <laughs> it's kind of crazy. And I'm going to put this all over my lid and just work it in to my skin. We're going to keep it away from our brow bone. She had that really nice kind of heavier brow bone. And I'm going to just work this in and blend this in as I go. So black, the pigment can be really, really difficult to work with. And that's the thing that makes these looks, this type of a look really challenging is the amount of blending you need to do to really make it work. So I'm gonna soften down this part of it, but right now I'm just looking into getting it even. Okay, now I'm gonna just take my finger. This is what I found to be the best tool. And just lightly tap that in. Just tap in those edges. You can use a brush. I, I'm very tactile as a person. I like to cook. I like to get my fingers in things. I'm, if you met me, I'd hug you. <laughs> I'm a hugger, I know. But I know with COVID, that's been sort of off limits, which is very rough on us huggers. Who am I gonna hug, right? My kids? Yeah, I hug my kids, but sometimes they won't let me hug them. Do your kids do that? Do they say, mom, go away? Okay, so this is a little bit mucky because it's black, right? And there's nothing else and it looks sort of like, what the heck happened? Don't worry, we're not done yet. All right, so now I'm gonna take black eyeliner. We're gonna take Black Tracks by MAC. This is a gel eyeliner. And I'm gonna use this with a very thin brush and we're gonna draw a nice line, but I'm not gonna take it like Sophia Loren does, which she takes it like really dense and elongated and really pulls her eyes out because I think it's gonna to look too harsh on me and most likely you. So I'm gonna fill this with product and I'm just gonna do a line. I'm gonna make it a little bit thicker on the outside and then I'm gonna slightly wing it, but not much. doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to take some black shadow over the top so that it's a little bit less liney looking.
Okay, so all the muckiness is starting to give way a little bit. All right, so now I'm gonna take um, a gray, because she always had that kind of blue-gray on her lid, which looked so, so, so pretty on her. And I'm gonna use this color right here. This is in the Jane Iredale palette called Naturally Matte. We are also gonna use this color right here to highlight. But starting off, we're just gonna do that lid color. So I'm gonna take this brush, which has a nice um, curve to it. I'm gonna put this all over my lids. And just really concentrate it on my lid area. I'm gonna take a blender brush here in a minute and blend it in a little bit more, but you get the idea. Just a nice gray. Okay, so we have lots and lots of gray and black. So we're gonna warm up my crease area just a little bit because it needs a little bit of warming. We're gonna use my blush, all right? So this is Mocha Blush by Jane Iredale. And the reason I'm using this is that I'm also gonna use this on my cheeks and I think it'll just be really flattering um, to pull it into my eye as well. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of this right in here. Just a bit, right? Just to add a tiny bit of warmth with all those cool tones. All right, so I don't like the line that, that liquid liner makes on older women. So I'm gonna take um, this brush, just like a soft blender brush, and I'm gonna just put like a charcoal on top of it just to tone it down slightly and to take away some of that lined look. And you just do that by rubbing it over the top. Very simple but it just takes that line down. So you're still gonna get this little wing bit here, but it's just gonna take down the line, which is what we're looking for. Okay, so now I'm gonna take that highlight that I mentioned, this highlight right here, just to make that brow bone really light, right? Because I want my brow bone to really jump out. Okay, so I'm gonna use a flat-headed brush. I'm just gonna put that in it. So this has got a little iridescent in it, which she didn't use, so we are cheating a little bit on our 60s theme. All right, <clears throat> now we're gonna go underneath our eyes um, just to add a little bit underneath. So of course she played with black, but we are gonna go towards the gray because on older women, if you put too much underneath our eye, it just pulls our face right down. Um, especially if you have dark circles, it can be very bad. We don't want that, so we're going back to our gray here. So I'm really sticking with a few colors, okay? Just to keep this as basic as possible, even though it's not a very basic look. I'm just gonna put that right in my lashes, right? And a little bit of black just on that outer edge. I could use the liquid liner. I'm gonna use a pencil liner, just cause it's right next to me. Just so those outer edges really get that Italian doe-eyed sort of look that she really capitalized on. I'm gonna take the same liner and go in my waterline up here. I wouldn't do it in the lower waterline. We're actually gonna do white in the lower waterline. So one of Sophia's tricks was to use a white liner underneath, I kind of smudged a little bit, in the lower waterline. And she also took this and winged it a little bit, but because we're not doing the wing, right, because it doesn't work very well on older women, we're just gonna do the white. So this is a way, a nice trick, that if once you see it, you can't miss it in pictures that people do this. But it just opens up your eye even more because she wanted that heavy lid, wide-eyed, very sensual look. So this is a really good way just to open up your eye. See that? could be a little noticeable at first. It's going to calm down a bit as as it water gets in there and everything, but cool, right? All right, let's do some false lashes because of course she had her false lashes. And one of Sophia Loren's tricks with her false lashes is um, to put, to have it so it goes up a little at the edge. So rather than the lash going here to here, exactly on your lash line, she took the base over here and she lifted it slightly and that gave her eyes more of a lifted look. Isn't that a cool thing? So let's give it a go. These are just cheap lashes. This is nothing fancy. Seriously, you could probably get these at your local drugstore. <laughs> They're so not, so not fancy lashes. Um, they're what I use on a lot of weddings because I have to um, 
I do some weddings. I don't do a whole lot of weddings. Um, so I'm going to take that, run it through. Really get that coated. And I've already pre-measured and trimmed them so that they're the right length for my eye. Very important to do. Okay, so those are the Sophia Loren eyes. Let's continue and do the rest of her very sensual 1960s look. So to start off with, we need to do a little bit of concealer. Um, so I'm gonna use my amazing concealer here in medium golden. And I'm just gonna tap a little bit of this around my eye area, not too much. We don't want too much heaviness around the eye. We do wanna brighten it. So this is slightly lighter than my skin. It either matches or goes slightly lighter depending on my skin color, if I've gotten some sun or not. So you just want it, like look how much that brightened it up underneath my eyes. That's really what you're looking for. You don't want to go, a lot of times in the, in the, I always make fun of Instagram makeup artists, but they tend to do a lot of concealer and then they bring it up and it's this line and you know, so yeah, no, don't do that. So we're just going to do a very, you can tell it's just a light tapping. I'm just being very light handed with this. I don't like the really heavy made up look. Um, if you've been watching me for very long, you know this to be true. I really like a softer look on women, on older women, but I want something that looks current, that looks beautiful, but it's, but it's not heavy handed looking. And I think the Instagram look is just very, very, very heavy. And I'm, you know, not very for it. All right, but look at the difference that made. How amazing is that? So now I'm going to take that powder, my lovely Cogendo powder, which I'm madly in love with. I think I'm going to sleep with it. I like it so much. <laughs> All right, we're going to just put this around my eyes, only around my eyes, because I just want to take down a little bit of that shine, make such a difference, and a little bit up in here, because I've got and this has a slight rose tint to it, so it's kind of a brightener, which I think is really, really nice. And I'm going to take that white on the edge there that I pointed out earlier, and we're going to go just a little bit up in here. Why not? Make full use of your products. Okay. Awesome. All right, so let's do lips, and then we'll do eyes last. So I'm going to do, this is called Craving by um, Jane Iredale. So this stays on. This does not come off and rub on mat, your mask or anything. This is fabulous, and it's very dry so it doesn't come off you have to be sure to hydrate your lips but it stays it's fabulous and I love this color it's kind of the perfect Sophia Loren succulent um, a little bit of a warm tone lip so I love that now I'm going to use chicory lip liner by Mac just a little bit darker than the lip I don't normally advocate darker lip liner on older women, but for this look in particular, I'm gonna do it. Sophia Loren did not overdraw her lips. She had a really amazing lips. People pay big money to have lips like that, right? All right, now I'm gonna use the same blush I put in my um, crease, this one. This is Mocha by MAC. I'm just gonna lightly put it my cheekbone and a little bit right here like look at the difference that makes I love blush on older women we need it right we need the color and if you use it kind of up around your eye area like how pretty is that just don't go too low some of you you know bring it down don't do that because that just pulls your face down everything needs to go north right our boobs our <laughs> booty everything think north with everything right okay so this is my 1960s early 70s Sophia Loren sexy makeup look okay so here i am in my basement looking sexy by myself <laughs> isn't that just the way it goes i am going out for a drink tonight with my friend so that maybe i can you know be a little glamorous in boulder colorado i don't know it's not a very glamorous place in any case i think this is so much fun and i've had a great time figuring out how to do this i've actually never done her 
makeup on anybody, even my, including myself. So anyway, I hope you got a lot out of this. Um, I do really think it is just that heavy lidded, lots of lash, sensual sort of a look to it. So let me know your thoughts on this. I'd love your feedback. Um, and if you give it a go, please write and tell me how it went because it is a little bit more complicated than normal uh, makeup. So thanks so much for watching The Beauty Shaman and have a great day.